Hi, I'm Ashley, and welcome to Tip Ticks and part three of my video series where I break down how I created an explainer style video in PowerPoint. In my last video, I went over how to create looping animations on your slides. And in this one, I'm going over how to do that paint on reveal effect for your images. Let's get to it. There are several different ways of creating this effect depending what's on your slide already and the look that you're going for. For this, we have a single image that basically we just want to reveal on. So I'm going to go up to the shape tool and click on scribble. Then I'm going to draw a super squiggly shape that looks kind of like a paintbrush stroke. You are looking to create those rough textured edges. Once I have that drawn, I'm simply going to drag it to the top of my image and duplicate it a few times until it covers the whole picture. A quick tip for duplicating instead of copying and pasting is you can hit Command D or on a PC it's Control D. Or what I tend to use is clicking and holding the object while pressing and holding Option on a Mac or Control on PC while dragging it to another area of my screen. And poof, a perfect duplicate appears wherever you let go. So to make these paint strokes look a little more organic, I usually do a slight size and rotation adjustment on each one to make them look just a little bit different than the last. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to select them all, go up to my animation tab and select exit effect wipe. For now, I'll make them all go from the left and change them all to 0.2 seconds with previous. I want them to animate top to bottom, so I'll just double check that they are arranged like that in the animation pane. So since I have another animation at the beginning of my slide that will interfere with these animations if I set them to after previous, I am going to just set each one to 0.2 after the previous one. Then I'll select every other one and set them to animate from right instead of left to make that zigzag effect come on. And here's the animation. Now for the final step to make it look like it's actually revealing on rather than just appearing from behind these shapes which are wiping off. So select all of the pieces and instead of having them be a solid color, select slide background fill. I usually do the step last because it can make finding your shapes afterwards a little more difficult since they are blended in with the rest of your slide. So there we go. That's how I got my image to appear like it's getting painted onto my slide. I hope you enjoyed part three and are looking forward to part four where I will go over how I did the draw on elements. If you're unfamiliar with the draw tool, I do have another video that can give you a brief rundown of how it works. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Have a good one.